So only after a month and a half, my tubing has completely fogged over. I think I'm done with plastic tubing. The one before this turned green. I had another one turn yellow. And the one before that gunked up my GPU and CPU water blocks, which took forever to clean. So yeah. So instead of using these, I decided to switch over to the EK ZMT and borrow compression fittings. This one right here is the 10 millimeter inner diameter, 60 millimeter outer diameter version. I went with the borrow fittings because I've been using them in my past builds and they work like a charm. And also they are one of the cheapest compression fittings that you could buy. So I read a lot on the internet that the borrow fittings were really hard to get on the ZMT tubings. And I think that's only partially true. It's rather really simple to get the tubing onto the barb itself. Like so. Much easier than most plastic tubing. Maybe it's just because it's really thick, so you can just push it in. What's really hard is to get the actual top and screwing it in. Like, it is really tight. So you're going to have to turn with a lot of force to actually get this screwed on. So it is possible, so it's a very good way to save a few dollars on uh, compression fittings. Okay, so here it is, all finished up. Pretty much looks identical to the way I had it before, except different tubing. I did make a video of me building this out, but I decided not to include it just because it's boring. Uh, very boring, actually. It's me spending about an hour and a half trying to screw all these fittings in tightly. And then another two to three hours of me filling and draining the loop. As for comparisons, uh, here's the original tubing. Again, it's completely fogged over, except the tips. This is how it should look like right here. By the way, this was the EK DuraClear. I'm not too sure why it turned so white, but um, my guess is that I may not have cleaned the radiator or the block or something uh, thoroughly. It could also be plasticizers leaking out of the tubing, but it just it doesn't really make sense. I mean, it's not old tubing, and the temperature never actually went above like 28 degrees. So, Okay, so that's about it. I'm hoping that this is the last time I ever have to replace tubing on this build. So far, I mean, everything seems to be working okay. The coolant inside the reservoir is still very clear. Um, doesn't really happen with soft tubing or the transparent soft tubing I've been using all this time, so it's a good sign. So I hope anybody watching this video found it useful. Um, truth be told, I'm only making these videos because uh, my wife is forcing me to. Um, the deal is I make videos and I get to continuously feed my hobby, which is, well, what you see right here. So there you go.